Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to watch your application using Laravel Telescope so you can, you know, watch in uh, the, any exception generate request or any log or any scheduling task scheduling. And also, there is a, if you set up the queue, then you can watch on that your application. So, let's get started with the example. I will show you how to install Telescope and how you can work with that. So, I already installed Laravel application. Okay, you can see over here and you can see i already run the application okay and now let me go to the laravel documentation and you can see that laravel telescope and then you can see over here they already defined like uh, already given laravel provide the uh, documentation for it so you can log like a uh, request coming from your application that exceptions or log entries database queries and queue jobs mail notification catch operator scheduling task so everything there will be a log over here and you can see the preview of here like how you can view all the things together and you can watch your application if any exception generate or uh, you can check it like uh, like mail is sending or not notification is sending or not and queries and all the things okay so how can we install it so you can see over here we just need to run composer required laravel slash telescope to just copy this command and go to the laravel application so let me clear this and i will run laravel telescope and you can see that it installed the laravel telescope okay so let's wait a moment yeah, and you can see over here they copy all the like you know directory from the vendor to public vendor telescope okay now let me go here and next they are asking for install telescope so copy this command and let me clear it and telescope install and you can see that publish service provider assets configurations migrations everything published okay and just run the migration so and you can see that migrations are running over here so all the tables related to the telescope that uh, created so let me go here and go to the vs code editor and go to the database migrations you can see that uh, let me go here you can see over here this is the tables like telescope entries telescope entries tag and telescope monitoring this three tables they created and it's created to the database okay and also let me go here and they say is like uh, you know service provider they have already uh, published so go to the service provider telescope service provider over here okay so later you can change it okay so now let me go here go to the config and go to the telescope.php you can enable disable and based on the domain so you can configure over here okay so there is a lots of configuration regarding to the telescope so yeah you can see the storage queue and middleware you can enable disable as well so you can see that basically that's like um, install telescope successfully now let me go and run the application so, php artisan sir okay and let's see the telescope view okay so let me go here go to the login click on user and now let me go and there is already url that's called our application slash telescope okay hit enter you can see over here this is the first preview of telescope and this is the request like first i was in login so let me go here you can see that it can be a display like my ip address memory uses and all the things what was the host name that also they are going to display you can see over here and go back if i go to the dashboard you can see that what controllers was the uh, calling and which middleware are applied over here so you can see that admin slash dashboard and what what was the username admin user and email and then if i go to the command you can see that we run the migration command so you can see migrate if we set up the schedule then they are displaying scheduler over here if we set up the jobs like uh, cron job so then they will see over here the output of the cron cron job batch and about the catch if we are using like redis or log file catch then they are going to display over here then they are dumps then events also they are displaying if any generate the exceptions then they are going to display over here same thing for the cats same thing for the http clients if anything log we are going to display then they are displaying over here mail also if you are sending the mail then they are going to display the mails models Right now we have just one model used that's a user model and you can see that 
the given entire thing about that and notification same thing for the queries you can see that in the background they are running this all these queries like when i refresh for example go to the page and just refresh and you can see that loads the query so that means what was the user and about the session so all this query are running okay same for the radius and what was the view was the call okay because when i run it again and go here you can see that how many like a view file was loaded okay so you can watch basically request commands and all the things from here okay now you can see that any user can access this uh, telescope okay so how can we prevent they already provide the some more configuration like you can enable and disable and one more thing and very important thing is that you can set up this scheduling command okay because uh, every like you know maybe daily or maybe after two days that you can delete the telescope entry because all these entries are stored into the database so later for example if after two months three months that all the tables can be a uh, like in huge large amount of data so that's why make sure you need to you must have to copy this and go to the routes console just add here the scheduling and then that will keep just 48 hours data you just need to schedule like this okay and then you can set up the cron in your server so make sure this is very important because i faced many time in my server okay so save it now let me go down okay and you can see that here like everyone can access this telescope but i just want to access these for only this admin user account okay so what i will do just go to go to my service provider so let me go here telescope service provider and here i am just going to add inside my get method so copy this and yeah get method you can see that view telescope and in array so that means what i need to do copy this okay and just paste it and here just i will say admin at the rate gmail.com save it now let me go here and refresh i can access it okay but let me go here and log in as a user okay so log out and log in and i will just say user and log in as a user at the gmail.com and go to the request telescope refresh it i can still access yeah why this happened so let me go here and telescope view let me copy this and let me paste it the user object maybe we need to set up that one save it okay and now let me refresh it yeah it's still maybe let me check it why that is not working okay telescope is already enabled inside the get mm, because this uh, maybe because of uh, this is already in local environment so that could be the reason okay okay let me check it so finally guys i just need to catch clear the okay because it already in the cat so that's the reason it was not working so now i define like admin uh at the gmail.com that's email only can allow okay so if i go and refresh you can see that i cannot access but let me log out and log in and click on login over here and just close it and refresh you can see that i can access let me show you again so let me log out try with the user not admin so user and click on login and refresh you can see that forbidden now let me go here and i also want to allow them for a user so you can add multiple email as well so let me go and refresh you can see that now user can access as well so i hope guys you can understand how easily we can install telescope and you can watch as well but make sure you need to define the scheduler task for every like after seven days or after one month it's going to delete the telescope data otherwise it can be a problem with your mysql or sqlite whatever database you are going to use so if you like this video then share with your friends and like my uh, subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching